think I'd like fountain pens. Well, anyway, uh, I was at the DC Pen Super Show 2012, and I got this pen. This is a pen I was not looking for, but my travel companion, Eric, from FB Geeks, was. He wanted one of these pens, and uh, we, we had a very nice scavenger hunt for that, trying to find it anywhere. And finally we found it with Miroslav Tischler, also known as Miro, also known as Penkala, uh, and um, Eric got one, and, you know, I, I wasn't particularly swayed by the design. This is a Pelican 400NN. First you had the 400, then you had the 400N, which had a, a slightly more pointy N knob, like a blind cap, and then came the 400NN, which had this very pointy end cap, and I think the barrel is just a little shorter than with the original 400. Um, I didn't care particularly much for it. Eric wanted one of these, the, the tortoise shell uh, um, deco instead of the uh, finish, instead of the, uh, the, the green finishes we know very well from, from Pelican. So what happened was that he found one with Miro and he, he, um, he bought it. And I think it was, I think it was during lunch that he, he had a bottle of ink with him and he, he inked it up. Actually, I inked it up. Oh, I remember. It was not during lunch. We were just sitting in the small ballroom at some table uh, across from the, uh, the, the the Grace from the Edison Pen Company, and I just inked it up. And Eric said, "Yeah, you you give it a, sh a test run." And he bought it in a fine nib, and we were both surprised. I put it to the paper. It wrote, and then I very gently checked to see if there was some flex, and then we both went because there was quite some flex. Uh, and we, we really didn't expect that, so I pretty much ran back to Miro because I knew he had another one, and I just bought that straight away. It was in perfect condition. I think it's 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 I would definitely say good as new. Uh, Miro checked it out, see whether it worked, and it he sells great stuff. Um, so I I had to get mine. Now this is an extra fine nib, and that too is very flexible. So wow. Okay, that was just a bit of a, a backstory. Now let's let's have a look at the pen, uh, like look at the parts, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, they'll do a writing sample, which is going to be fun. Okay, so on top of the cap, I think we have a pelican, but I'll just take a loop there too. Yep, that's definitely a pelican, the bird. So that's on top of the cap. Then we have the nice gold ring, and we have the clip shaped like a pelican uh, beak. Is this a beak sign? Maybe it's more like well, whatever. You know what I mean? A pelican beak. Um, I knew a guy who once stuck his hand up a pelican's beak because he wanted to feel what it was like, and apparently it was quite pleasant. I don't know why anyone would do that, but it happens. Then we have the cap, nice, shiny, reflective black. A little prone to getting fingerprints all over it, but okay. Then we have this very nice tortoise design, and we have the blind cap. This is a piston filler, so you twist this, and piston moves, piston moves up and down to draw out ink. Screw off cap. Of course, we have a cap band uh, right there, which says Pelican 400. Then a little dash, then Germany, and that's it. I'm pretty sure it's an NN, though, not a regular 400, because then the end cap would be different. Okay, now something you cannot see, but something I can see, is that this is translucent. Uh, it's not extremely translucent, but if you hold it up against the light, then you can really see the piston and the ink in there, which is fairly cool. We have the section, nicely tapered, very smooth, but pleasant to hold, not extremely small, not extremely large. Of course, you know that I'm going to say that one of the downsides of this pen is the size, as I like larger pens, but this is a 400. If I would like a larger pen, I'd have to get an M1000 or something, and I didn't. So that's that's not a, a valid complaint. Then we have the threads. Not sharp at all. Uh, pleasant to hold. They will not cut into your skin. Uh, I like that. And we have the nib. The nib has some stuff on there. It says Pelican 14 karat 585, which is indeed 14 karat gold. It says EF for extra fine, 
and uh, it has again the symbol of the pelican, the name derived its the brand derived its name from on there. 14 karat gold, lovely. Nice little feed, interesting feed with vertical uh, grooves running up instead of horizontal grooves. Just a very cool pen. You can post it with vintage pens. I'm always a bit careful when doing that, but you can. And then it just makes a very nicely sized pen. So, I like it. Um, anything to say about it? Well, it's cool. It has eye for detail. It has some nice detail all on top of the clip there. Type of like it, it almost looks. Is that supposed to be the head of a bird? The eyes, and then you have the beak. That might just be the case. I'm not really sure. I can't really see it very well. All I'm saying is, nice eye for detail, right? The pelican on top, and the whole tortoise design. I think is just cool. Uh, I'll, I'll put it up close a bit. I know the camera won't focus, but just to give you a bit of an idea of the, the nice uh, shading uh, uh, you, you get in there, it's just a cool little pen. And with that amount of flex, it's it's just great. Clearly, it's not a flex pen, but it will give you some really cool line variation, much more than modern pens uh, would. So it's it's very nice. This pen wasn't in production for an extremely long time. I think the 400N was in production for just a couple of years, and this was produced a bit longer. Uh, but it's it's very cool, very very cool. So what do I like about it? The pen. I mean everything. It's just cool. What do I not like about it? Well, as I said, it could be a bit bigger, but then it just should have gotten a, a 600 or an 800 or a 1000, and I didn't. So that's not a valid complaint. It's in good order. Uh, check out Miro. Pencala, he sells stuff on eBay. Um, cool guy, cool pen. And that's all there's to it. So, time for a writing sample. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, Pelican writes. Four hundred N N ink is Waterman Bleu de Florida Mystery Blue now Whatever Um Great Ink, I love it. Do some writing. Extra fine nib. Looks extra fine to me. Although through the years it may have gotten a little brown because it doesn't look extremely fine. This is an Asian fine that is extra fine to us. When I say us, I mean Westerners. That's not the right term. To most Western people that would be more like an extra fine. You see this is a bit broader, but still. Quick brown fox jumps over. The lazy dog. The dog. That's lazy. Now the true fun of this nib is this. There we go. How about that? I never expected that when Eric bought this, and um, I mean not this one. I bought this one, but bought this model of pen. We we'll look at that. Look at that and tell me. This is not serious nibbage. Because I don't know about you, but this looks pretty awesome to me. Great flex. Great to write with. Little feedback. Great flow. Keeps up well. No skipping, no railroading. Wow. 
Really love this. Okay, fast writing. You see me skipping? Because I don't. Apart from this point, and that's where I misangled the pen. So that's just fine. I don't know whether misangling is a word, but it is now. So there we go. Coloring. Pretty nice, pretty wet. That's just what I like. I'm very impressed with this little pen. It's not that big, but it's serious, and that's all that matters. Okay, so nice pen. Love the way it performs. Thank you for watching. Miro, thank you for selling such an awesome pen. Decent price, perfect pen, fantastic nib. What more could I wish for? Nothing. So I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.